Airbnb versus Verbo, the battle of messages. Stay tuned, we're gonna compare a couple commercials from each one. That face that is usually covered by her phone has finally made an appearance. That face is laughing, that face is expressive, that face is talking more than one syllable at a time. So often, uh, organizations and companies, whether it be big or small, right, just want to talk about features instead of benefits. One of the things that this message does really, really well, it speaks to the benefits of the family that decides to stay in a Verbo. Getting your kid's face away from a phone screen, away from a tablet screen, and seeing that face that you raise, that you love, um, that's the benefit of picking a unique spot to stay and specifically doing that through Verbo. That face wouldn't be doing that if you weren't staying at a Verbo lake house. <laughs> the most you normally get from that face is an eye roll, and that's if you're lucky. Your together awaits. Find it with Verbo. This message is very clearly targeted towards that family. Now, it doesn't mean that that's all of what Verbo targets, but this specific message they identified, we want a family to stay in Verbo, and a mature family, a family that has you know, teenagers or preteens or a family that wants to get out of the day-to-day -day grind, get away from technology, and get back to the basics of nature. And at Verbo, we've got a spot where you can do that. Very good message, very good on point to target that specific audience and tug on those parents' heartstrings. So many companies want to sell their product. Don't Sell the experience. What's the feeling your product is gonna elicit? What's the, what's the feeling you want your product to elicit? And this your together awaits, you know? Perfectly crafted message for a family. Verbo sells experiences. Get your experience at Verbo. All right, now let's look at an Airbnb ad. Airbnb in this specific instance still very much selling an experience, right? That's a different experience tailored towards a different individual, right? Experience fun with your friends at a pool, you know? So they are a little bit more product driven. Hey, we have homes with pools at Airbnb, but it's still a very specific experience, a very fun time, uh, a fun experience with one of your friends. One of the subtle differences that you'll notice between these two, what did the Airbnb one focus on? Snapshots, right? Where are most friends sharing their experiences? Instagram, Facebook. These snapshots in time, the experience of having those memories that'll last a lifetime through pictures, through images. It's a really interesting use of imagery here as opposed to video clips of these friends doing these different activities. Two very similar companies with two very different messages, at least with these campaigns. And that's the thing that's the most important here. As an organization, the big takeaway here, figure out who you wanna to talk to, figure out what they care about, what they value, how your product can fit within that value system that they have, and talk to that. Don't be everything to everybody, be specific. Verbo versus Airbnb, I like them both. Click subscribe, hit like if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more videos like this and let us know which one of these uh, uh, you resonated with. Till next time, peace, peeps. Airbnb versus Vovo. <laughs> I know what we got yeah. for the poster. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Airbnb versus Verbo.